Good afternoon, Coach. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Welcome to HSBM Media Days. Coach, introduce yourself and who you have here today. My name is Kyle Young. I'm the head coach at uh, Jupiter High School. I have seniors Mason Barella, who's committed to Cornell University, and senior outfielder Andrew Todd with me today. So, Coach, you've been with the staff for eight years. This is your ninth year, but first year as head coach. Tell me the big advantage of transitioning from assistant coach to now head coach. Yeah, it's, it's, it was kind of an easy transition, um, knowing all the players, um, being around the JV program last year, as well as the varsity guys. Um, we, had, we had a young group last year, um, as well as senior heavy, but a lot of our younger guys did get playing time last year. So the guys that we do have on our team this year, I've been around, um, except a couple of transfers that we've uh, brought in from other schools, um, which are gonna be, um, benefit, benefit us big time. Talk about your roster. Um, we have a very junior-based roster, a um, lot with experience from last year. We have five seniors. We have a couple sophomore POs and as well as a freshman PO that's going to be uh, joining our staff this year. Um, we're really looking forward to having the young guys be around, the old, these older guys especially, and um, to see what we can do on field. And how about how do you motivate these younger players and, and motivate the team this year as a senior? Um, so basically nothing really changes on what we do when we go out there, just kind of lead by example. Just make sure that you're doing everything right because you never know what kind of younger kids watching you, especially when you have juniors and sophomores on the team. Since me and Mason have been a part of the program, he's been there for four years, this is my third year on varsity. You just got to go out there and do your thing, don't overthink anything, and just be kind of lead by example. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I think you know we've we built a really good community, and I feel like everybody who just even comes to try out knows that like there's a certain standard like when you come to, like to Jupiter, and everybody you know. I feel like we all play the game the right way, and you know we really don't have to do that much motivating. Like we have a really good group of kids, a really good group of younger kids, and you know they all really like to work. They really, you know, they just like to get after it, and we all like winning. So you know that's the biggest thing. Coach, tell me about your schedule this year. Yeah, we're, we have a very, we have a tough schedule, a uh, very home-based schedule, which is nice. 15 of our uh, 25 regular season games are in Jupiter. Um, we do um, bring in a lot of ta talented teams into Jupiter this year. Westminster Christian from down in Miami, George Jenkins from Lakeland, as well as uh, Vestavia Hills from Alabama, who were the 7A Alabama State Champs last year. Um, so we're looking to face good competition around our county and from outside of uh, Palm Beach and Martin County this year. So from a player perspective, are there certain games you're looking forward to this year as your senior year? Um, nothing really specific. Just take every game one game at a time. Uh, I'm, just, I'm not looking forward to a game. I'm just looking forward to our next game. Yeah. I love playing Dwyer. I love playing Gardens. I love playing all, you know, I, I know a lot of the kids around and playing against my friends and you know just like it's fun to compete against the people that you've grown up playing with since you were seven eight years old. So, yeah. You mentioned community. Tell me about that. If people aren't familiar about with Jupiter and this baseball community, tell me how that it makes you guys a success and how it. it yeah, it, it's it's pretty much started with our prior success. You know, winning a state championship in 2018. You know, the core of those guys have come around and been around these guys. Um, we have pro guys that have come back and have helped out. Um, you know, it's just kind of everyone has the same goal, you know, to, to win a ring in Fort Myers. Um, so having these guys come back who've been there, um, two Fort Myers have won. You know, it's, it's really nice. We've added a new pitching coach who was on um, that staff in 2018. He's come on board to help us out this year. So we're, we're just trying to keep it the Jupiter core with Jupiter guys and, um, you know, the same goal of win another one this year. And for you, what's your personal goals for this year as a senior? Um, just continue to do my thing, just go out there and hit the ball as hard as I can, as often as I can. Just lead by example, like I said earlier, and obviously win a ring. And for you, personal goals? Win a ring, get prepared for next year going up to Cornell, and you know just have as much fun as I can. It's the last year, so you just want to make the most of it. And how's your experience been today with the media days? Oh, this is awesome. You know, having it here closer at Gardens this year, um, seeing all the other coaches and players around from the county. It's one of the best county baseball-wise, you know, in the state of Florida. Um, so much talent. You know, it's past talent, 
for recent talent. You know, it, it, today was awesome getting to be around here, doing everything with our team. You know, kind of a team bonding thing as well. You know, not just being at our field doing our normal routine, but getting out. You know, seeing seeing them outside of the school and getting to be here doing I.O. and hitting them um, in the cages and whatnot. Awesome. So, Coach, take us out for Jupiter Baseball this year. What can we expect? You know, we're, we're going we're gonna to work hard. You know, it's going to be we're going to work hard. You know, we've had, we've had the recent coaching change when I took over last month, but nothing's really changed on the field. You know, it's been a lot more stuff for me dealing during the, the day at school and whatnot, you know, but on the field nothing's changed, you know. Um, the expectations are still high. Um, we're we're going to pitch, hit. You got pitch, hit, and you know, field to be successful. And we have all aspects of that to, to in, on our team. Um, pitching is our biggest question mark. We only brought back five returning innings from last year from a true freshman. Um, everyone else pitched last year were all seniors. So that's our biggest question mark. But we have some young, hungry guys that are hard workers. So um, that might be our biggest question mark on paper, but I think our guys are ready to step up to the challenge. So we're looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you this season. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you.